we have not reversed our trend. We have only gone further down the road to satanic rituals with babies, yeah. which are happening right now. Yeah, and, and, it's, and, and, and it's, we, have only, we have only gone further. And and to me, to me, preaching what we want to go for eventually is good. I think it's I think it's exactly the thing to do. Yeah. But I also think when you have when you have the the opportunity to take advantage of interim steps, you should. Like if they if like they if they came out let's say let's say you were a legislature legislator, right? And yeah. and the bill came before you and you could say no abortions except incest, right? So you're talking ninety nine percent nine nine point nine percent probably of all of all abortions would be eradicated by your signature. Would you sign it? No. Why? Because that is not God's law. That is an unjust law being written into society. God's law is thou shalt not murder, and that applies to everybody. Also, that would further perpetuate the notion in the culture that children in the womb are less valuable and that it's okay to murder them sometimes. So I'm trying to change the culture. But no, but the culture, but the culture is already here. So you're saying it's wrong to kill it in 99% of all these situations, and it's wrong to kill it even in incest. But we can get this, so let's get it. No. But if so I if I do that, that, that will so prolong the Holocaust. Let's say there's a million. It will prolong a million, it. A million kids are gonna die because you don't sign it. Yeah. That's the right thing to do in your mind. Well, no, no. We we seek That's to save. We, we no. We seek to save those children through other methods, but we don't we don't sign into law that it's okay to murder some people. That is rebellion against God. Also, if I do that, that will be in the law for who knows how long, and that will further perpetuate the notion that it is okay to murder these children at some times and that they are less valuable. And so that perpetuates an ageist culture and I'm trying to fight that. If we always crack down and say no, 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 no every time, more quickly, sooner, earlier, we will come to we're abolishing it completely. And when we do that, do you know that sooner? and when we do that, that will save you know more sooner? babies overall. But how do you know sooner? What? Why sooner? Because if everybody decides to become an abolitionist and never everybody. regulate it, if, if, everybody if we get a ton of people doing that, not everybody, but a majority, then and then when a bill of complete abolition comes forward, it will be voted on but, and everybody but I would say this. will I would be say incrementalism protected. Incrementalism leads to absolutes. Trying to go for absolutes without incrementalism because you have a cult, you have minds you have to change. So to me, if I right. can change minds and have, have people agree. That, that is wrong in 99% you're, you're changing minds and you're incrementally moving toward no. and then it's like and then you get to the end and you're like hey no you're you're further perpetuating the wrong thinking by doing that no, I'm not. you are because not. because then people are like oh okay that now here? murder is something we can regulate well, for we certain got, people in a certain stage of well, life we got here through evolutionary motion evolutionary thinking of our minds right that's how we you're got saying here. we got to what got to, to where to the moral the moral depravity that we're in right now because That's people have been compromising. That's why we're where we're at. Because of the pro-life movement regulating murder. Because of what you're saying. But if, if we had never done that in the first place, it would have aboli been abolished decades ago and millions upon millions upon millions more babies would have been saved. But if we continue to regulate it, more children overall will be I dead. I agree. If in the very beginning, when Roe v. Wade went in and we decided we would listen to the, to the court as though it's a legislature, then you could stop it. But but we're not right there. It's not like we just go back over the oh, line. Oh, but we can we're defy. Right we can I, defy I mean, the feds. We can defy the Supreme Court. Yes. So we should abolish it state by state. Each state should just abolish it in their state. I agree with you. Yeah, and that's what I advocate for as an abolitionist. But, but see, what you're doing here is you're yelling at a bunch of people that who are pro-life incrementalists. Pro what? They're pro-life incrementalists. Yeah. Well, there are pro-life incrementalists, probably. Yeah. But but I, I think what you're doing is you're not you're not helping. Them. I'm helping them to think about the difference between pro-life and abolitionism, and I want them to become abolitionists.